Hello everyone and welcome to the One Man Renegade Productions YouTube channel. I'm your host, Sean Burger B, and today we're opening up the final packs from this 2008 uh, Upper Deck Series 2 uh, Major League Baseball Hobby Box. I know, I don't have any, I didn't have Tops update, I apologize. I feel like the fourth video now, you figured that out. But um, yeah, if you missed parts one, two, or three of this box, head up there, check them out. While you're at it, head and down, hit the subscribe button, turn the notifications to the thumbs up, like the video, that share button, share this with everyone you know. Um, head on down in the comments and, I don't know, it's, Tell me who your favorite player was back in 2008 if you were alive and watching baseball or whatever. And then uh, check out the links in the description for my blog, podcast, other social media, as well as my eBay, where I should have some cool stuff up for sale. So go check it out, make some offers, buy some stuff, um, save me as a seller, all that goodness. Um, I just realized I haven't even mentioned Josh Beckett being on the cover here. Obviously, uh, he had a great postseason run with the Red Sox in 2007. Um even though there was the shenanigans uh, with the with the Indians having his ex girlfriend sing the national anthem the night he was pitching, I want to say that was game five, or maybe it was game four. I can't remember. Either way, um, yeah, that was a weird one. And then uh, yeah, came out and dominated, so it didn't matter. But uh, yeah, Red Sox won the World Series that year. That was probably Josh Beckett's. Well, it was definitely his best year with the Red Sox. It might have been on the last good year. <laughs> I don't know. Can't really totally remember. Uh, he had some decent years, though, for the Red Sox, obviously. Uh, and then we shipped him off to uh, California, as we typically do with a lot of our bad contracts. Hey, Dodgers, you guys are like these, these guys, right? Yeah, here you go. Here you go. Take our contracts. Andrew Jones, uh, Alexi Ramirez, Matt Holliday, uh, Vaughn Rodriguez, Hall of Famer. Of course. Uh, Brian Roberts, Khalil Green, Orlando Cabrera, Adam Eaton. Uh, oh, well, kind of spoiled that. Uh, Randor, B B B B ah, that guy. All right, we got our final memorabilia card. It is another, it's a junior national team jersey. Uh, Tyler Stovall. It's not numbered or anything. Yeah, I don't know. Like, it's like, uh, here's all your hits. They're Team USA guys that, a lot of a lot of them no one's ever heard of. I mean, I guess they could have been come something and maybe those are would have been something. But it's like, yeah, it's like give me some major league guys. You know, I mean, whatever. Shane Costa, Jeremy Hermedia, Hermida, uh Duaner Sanchez, Uneski Bentoncourt, we got Gustavo Chassin, Carlos Gomez, Mike Cameron. Carl Crawford, speaking of terrible con Red Sox contracts that we shipped off to the Dodgers. Dan Heron, Luis Gonzalez. All right, next pack. Got Ryan Braun. Uh, Calix Crabbe, something. There's Josh Beckett. He won... Yeah, he, he, he was the ALCS MVP. Yeah, it must have been against the Indians. Tom Glavin, Hall of Famer. There's Josh Beckett again. Kenny Rogers. Uh, Matt Holliday, whose son was the number one pick last year. Uh, Grady Sizemore. Kerry Wood. Mike Miner. Team USA card. Spacer. Bobby Abreu. Ronnie Balliard. Lyle Overbay. Ray Durham. Esteban Luiza. Ben Broussard. Uh, Reggie Abercrombie. Uh, Ta Tadahito Iguchi, Levon Hernandez, and Aaron Bleepin' Boone. So there you go. Alright, two more packs to go. Um, next week, I promise, I'll be back on the Tops train uh, with 2009 Series 1 Tops. So, uh, uh, if you don't like Upper Deck at all, I apologize. I just couldn't, couldn't justify paying the prices that people wanted for... I mean, especially when I was getting these boxes, I think. I don't know. I, I can't remember. I don't know what they were, but, like, I don't know what they were then versus what they are now. Um, and I'm sure they went up a bunch and have probably come down a little bit. But 2008 upper, uh, 2008, sorry, Tops update. Uh, obviously get um, Clayton Kershaw, uh, Max Scherzer, Evan Longoria to a lesser degree cards in there. So they're pretty pricey and given that i already have 
a bunch of those because I was collecting it this time and did open a bunch of those boxes and have a bunch of those cards. It's kind of like, ah, I don't really need more. <laughs> uh, Jose Velarde, Johan Santana, Cleet Thomas, rookie. Um, Jose Guillen, Jeremy Guthrie, Brandon Phillips, Matt Caps. Uh, Sean Casey, Chipper Jones, Hall of Famer, uh, Spacer, Tony Pena, uh, Juan Encarnacion, Eddie Guadard, Guidard, Guadardo, Joe Blanton, Rocco Baldelli, Ryan Church, Brad Lidge, Miguel Olivo, Kazu Matsui, and another Yankee Stadium Legacy card, another Andy Pettit. We got a Pettit earlier. This is game 6,160. The Yankees lost to the Blue Jays. Five to four. Uh, Plesak was the winner. Mendoza got the loss. So there you go. Andy Pettit. And we're down to the final pack of this box. Um, I don't know. I mean, it's kind of nice to every once in a while open up some old upper deck. I mean, I know I typically do a lot of tops, and I feel like over the years, um, tops, I mean, obviously, is I mean, it's been the it's been the go to for a long, long time. But there was a period there, certainly in the '90s and 2000s, where you know there was other other brands fighting tops for that top spot. No pun, pun intended. Uh, ultimately, it didn't really pan out. I mean, I know Panini's still doing its thing, but like without the licensing, it's uh, it's never going to. And the the I mean, I, I don't know what's gonna happen when you know because I don't I don't. I don't know what Fanatics deals are because obviously the what happened was Fanatics got the licensing deals for Major League Baseball and NFL and, and NBA eventually, but then there was also the MLPA or MLBPA. So I think if they have the MLBPA rights, that would mean Panini couldn't make cards at all. I don't. I'm not I'm sure how that works because I'm not quite sure how it works now. But I know you know those those. Right, those Technically, haven't kicked in yet, but you know, since Tops got bought by Fanatics, it kind of made it a moot point. Um, yeah, anyways, I don't know, but we'll. I, I mean, I I don't know what Panini's gonna do. I think uh, I don't know. It's it'll be interesting to see down the line. But regardless, my point of everything was, you know, back in the day when you had a bunch of different brands making products, it was a little more interesting than today with just Tops. I mean, Panini and Panini to some degree. But you Chris Granison, Barry Zito, uh, Fukudome again, but this is not the Japanese version. I uh, got some season highlights for A Rod, Jason Bay, Aaron Cook, Josh Fields, Orlando Hudson, uh, Jake Peavy, Tim Melville, USC, Team USA card, Spacer, Chingming Wong, uh, uh, Sean Figgins, Derek Turbo, Mike Tr uh, Matt Trainer. Uh, who's married to the volleyball lady, right? I believe. Uh, Andy Chavez, Aaron Rowan, Rod Barajas, Mark Katze, Caesar is Turris, and Dontrell Willis is the last card. So there we go. That's going to do it for today. That's going to do it for this box. That's going to do it for 2008. Next week, we'll move on to 2009, Top Series 1. Um... Trying to remember, I don't know. I can't think of off the top of my head any real good rookies from two thousand nine. I was still collecting in two thousand nine, so that was like the last year, and then I kind of bowed out <laughs> uh, for a bit. Um, yeah, I don't know. We'll get. I'll get into it. I guess next next time out, we'll see. Um, I do remember two thousand nine design, so we'll talk about that next week. But um, there we go. That's gonna do it. So thank you everyone for watching. Come back next week. Come back every day. I got videos posted every day, sometimes multiple days. Just hit that subscribe button and turn on the notifications. Get a little notification every time a video is up or watch it over, watch it, like it, share it, comment, and all that fun stuff. Keyword those fun, just having fun on the channel, open up cards, talking sports, and all that goodness. So thank you everyone for watching. Stay safe, have fun. Talk to you next time. Bye.